Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the series that we're doing with Code Drumheads. I'm Adam Steele for Hot Pole Studios, and this is Mike from Code. Uh, so far, we've talked about kick drums, uh, snare drum skins, and now we're going to talk about toms and how it's quite a different application. Okay, so uh, so Tom Wise, um, we've got uh, well various different models. Um, today we're going to look at probably half of the ones because time wise it could get to be a very very long video if we went through every single type of uh, Tom head. Although our range, as we said, it, it is quite concise. It is quite small, but still, um, you know, there are quite a few different ones. So the, the first one we're going to be looking at, um, well, the first one we're going to be looking at probably is the one that's on the kit at the moment, uh, and the one that's on the kit just through there at the moment is the uh, clear generator. Our generator is your twin ply, okay, uh, uncoated obviously, clear, uh, and and with the the bonding ring in between the two, uh, in between the two plies. So you've got good durability because it's twin ply. Um, you've got um, you know control of the tone and the overtones on there through the ring. Um, the clear version we've got on there, it's got good attack. The thing that a lot of people like about these and why I use them personally as well, live and in the studio, is just because they have uh, a lot of warmth and bottom end to them. You know, they've got that powerful punchy and controlled sound. If you use them in conjunction with our um, RR heads, which are the, the, the Rezo heads that have got the, in, in the built-in dampener as well, you get that really solid, you know, that sound that a lot of the uh, studio and live engineers love, you know, mm. because obviously they don't love anything that rings, you know. Yes. Um, so you can get that really nice, solid, dead combination. Uh, I think we're going to hear it with um, our clear DNA as the Rezo head, which is just your single ply um, clear head. Which is a little more open sounding. A little more, more open, it? yeah. A little bit more open. You've still got control because of the uh, of the, the twin ply with the you know the dampening in between the heads. Um, but yeah, that and the DNA coated sounds big, fat, open. It, it's, it's funny actually, this is where I think that head choice can become really important because where on snare you might be looking for durability mm -hmm. on toms particularly from my perspective as a studio engineer and i know having been a live sound engineer as well you don't necessarily depending on genre want your toms to ring out forever mm -hmm. but you don't want to be covering them in gel to make them no. sound lifeless yeah and that's why that's why we really brought the rr resonant head um into the range um because you know engineers in particular like uh, rick who's uh, our guitarist in embrace and and, and and produced our last two albums and recorded them you know he was he was looking for that really solid and a sound that you don't you don't want that long decay you don't want the ring yeah. but as you say a lot of people just stick gaffer tape and numerous moon gels all over everything which you know just from a you know a, a look point of view, an aesthetic point of view, it can look a bit messy. Yeah. So if you can achieve the same thing using the heads and not having to put damping on them, that makes sense to me. It's a practical thing as well, isn't it? That if, if, if you don't need it, you shouldn't have it, that kind of thing. Yeah, and if you are relying on bits of tape and, and moon gels, and, and if you're gigging a lot, you know, your drums get moved all over the place, the moon gels fall off, the tape comes off, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you may as well get it right at the source. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> So here it is, the, we're going to do the acoustic ballad and the uh, classic rock where we're really going to smack those toms and we'll really hear that difference now when we start yeah. comparing them. And a bit with the, uh, the groove bass track. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll have a listen to the clear generators.
So that was the clear generator and you can really hear that big thud, mm -hmm. but with a nice open ring that decays in a reasonable time. Yeah, quite well, quite quickly really, to, so, so it is easier to control sound wise. Yeah, but because we're not covering it in gel or any kind of thing, yeah. it doesn't just sound like wet cardboard. No. No, it's got it's got it's got life to it as well, definitely. And those um, the generator does come coated as well, so mm. the coated version of it uh, is even more controlled as well. Really, you know, you can get that real lovely sort of seventies thud. Yeah. One last thing before we move on mm -hmm. to the next head is that I noticed looking at the generators, you can see what looks like oil in between the heads. I think you mentioned to me earlier that it's that it's hardly any at all. It's yeah. not. That that look, you know, people just always assume the sort of the, the, the rainbow coloured effect to be, you know, filled with oil. But if you actually just take two two plies of uh, of PET because it's it's, it's PET film um, and put those together, you can still see that sort of that sort of coloration effect as well. So we've got very little in between there. So it's not the it's not the per se hydraulic heads that are kind of you know have that really dead you know third which is great i love that as well but it, it so it, it's kind of somewhere in between really yeah it's aimed not to be that. yeah i just wanted to mention that because just from from the the visual of it you might mm. make that assumption yeah but yeah just because you can see that doesn't necessarily mean it's loaded no 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 not at all cool so from the thud yeah to something slightly more open what have we got next yeah well i mean and this this is the uh, uh this is um our dna coated which basically is is your box standard single ply coated head okay 10 mils coated or clear uh, a lot of the time the clear version of this um, is used for the the Rezo head for the toms um, it's not a heavy duty head so you know it, it, it's used for sort of lighter to medium use applications you know sometimes we get people buying these and then you know whacking the hell out of them and saying oh you've dinted them it's like yeah but you know, you need to read what the head's for, basically, you know, um, but it's a lovely wide open sound. You know, there's, there's nothing dead in it at all. There's no internal damping rings. There's no twin ply. There's nothing in between it. It is just your box standard single ply coated head. Um, you know, it sounds great for you kind of, I guess you, you, you lighter sort of genres, you know, you know, the jazzy players tend to, to really like it as well. Um, but yeah, single ply coated or clear head. Good stuff, let's hear that in action. So from the DNA to the most open sounding ones that you've brought with you today. Um, yeah, I mean, this this one is um, our law range, okay? Um, this is only available in, in clear. It's got the donut on the surface. So this, is a, this isn't a reverse, this is actually on the, on, the, on the surface, again, to help with durability. But this, in essence, is a single ply head, okay? That is going to help with the durability and definitely does. I mean, these are used by uh, Russ Gilbrook again on the heavy side. He uses these on his toms. Uh, and again, if anyone's seen him playing, you'll know 
they will take a bit of battering, uh, and that is purely because we've actually got the, you know, the, the dot on there to help re to reinforce that. Um, so yeah, good wide open uh, um, sound to them. The dots does two things, it helps with the durability, but it also does kind of help a little bit with the overtones, a bit of the control of the sound. But yeah, no, a nice punchy open sound um, that, yeah, for me works great and looks really, really cool. Yeah, there's a guy um, uh, who, who was on tour with a band called Archive, Steve uh, Smiley, Bernard at the moment, and he's trying the heads out and he's got these on his uh, Clear Perspex kit. Nice. And they look awesome. They look amazing. You know, the Clear Perspex kit with the, the dots on there. Yeah, it's, it's just great. So yeah, the law. Let's hear those ones in action. And so those are the skins that we have with us uh, for this particular video, but you do have a wider range than we've demoed of this last few videos, don't you, Mike? Yeah, we do. Uh, I mean, if we'd have gone through, as I said earlier, if we'd have gone through the whole range and done this, it, it, it may have been a bit too much. Um, we have, yeah, yeah, absolutely. But we have, yeah, and we have um, snare side heads in two different thicknesses, three and five, and five mils. You know, some of these versions, we've got the clear ones, and we have coated versions as well. You know, so uh, we've tried to cover, I guess, the most diverse uh, in this, just to show what we can do. But if uh, if people want to know more about um, the heads and the, and the entire range, if you go to uh, www.codrumheads co.uk uh, and on the the, uh, the product section there you'll see myself um, talking about um, and recordings of, of all the other heads that we recorded in uh, in our studio uh, it, with no effects on a torch just the live room on there so you can hear exactly what the what the heads are doing um, plus we've got other things uh, accessories and stuff like the little impact patches which I should have had them in my hand now but I haven't so we can zoom in on one later yeah. um, impact patches we do uh, snare straps lovely snare straps that, which um, with our logo going on um, with a out of a gross grain uh, um, ribbon which is which is really durable you know got snare wise beaters felts so they're all they're all sorts of bits and pieces but the main core of it are the heads obviously absolutely mm. So there's so much to check out. Go and check those out after you finish watching the video. Uh, the last thing that we're going to do in this video is we're going to do uh, the back-to-back -back comparison of the different Tom heads so that you can hear the clear distinction. So that takes quite a lot of time. That's also going to have without backing track and then just close mics on the Toms. So that's going to be quite a long section at the end of the video, which is why it's at the end. So that is all from us for today. Mike, thanks for coming down. It's, it's been, been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure to come down and do it. Thanks for uh, asking us. Anytime. And now we are filming out of sequence, so now we have to go and hit the drums. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, ladies and gentlemen. I'm over for Hot Pole Studios, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. See you later.
Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out our other videos as you can find here, or check out our Facebook and Twitter, or our Patreon page which helps us to make more videos like this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.